Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of numismatics, exploring the top 5 most valuable ultra-rare US Roosevelt 1 dime coins. These tiny treasures hold immense historical and monetary value, some fetching prices in the millions. So, let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Today, we have something truly special to discuss at the 1966 Roosevelt dime without a mint mark. You may have heard rumors about its rarity and value, but let's dive deep into its history, significance, and just how much it could be worth. So, buckle up as we embark on this numismatic journey. First things first, what makes the 1966 Roosevelt dime without a mint mark so intriguing? Well, to understand its significance, let's rewind a bit to the mid-1960s. In 1965, the U.S. Mint ceased the production of silver coins due to the rising cost of silver. Consequently, they transitioned to a copper-nickel composition for dimes, quarters, and half dollars. Now, when it comes to mint marks, typically, you'll find them on the obverse or reverse side of a coin, indicating where it was minted. However, in 1965 through 1967, Philadelphia at the primary mint a temporarily stopped adding mint marks to their coins. This was to streamline production and reduce costs. So, what does this mean for our 1966 Roosevelt dime without a mint mark? Well, it's a product of this unique period. Without the mint mark, these coins were solely produced in Philadelphia. Therefore, if you find one without the P mint mark, you've stumbled upon a rare treasure. Now, Let's talk about value. Due to its scarcity, the 1966 Roosevelt dime without a mint mark commands significant attention from collectors. Its value can vary based on factors like condition, demand, and overall market trends. When assessing the value of any coin, its condition plays a crucial role. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, with mint state indicating a flawless specimen. So, if you happen to find one of these dimes in pristine condition, its value could skyrocket. Additionally, the demand within the numismatic community greatly influences its worth. Rarity combined with high demand can result in considerable value appreciation over time. And given the allure of coins with unique historical significance, the 1966 Roosevelt dime without a mint mark falls into this category. So, just how much could one of these dimes be worth? Well, it's difficult to pinpoint an exact figure due to the fluctuating nature of the market. However, reports suggest that these coins have sold for anywhere from a few thousand dollars in auctions and private sales. As we wrap up, it's essential to emphasize the importance of research and authentication when dealing with rare coins like the 1966 Roosevelt dime without a mint mark. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, Always consult reputable sources and experts to ensure the authenticity and value of your coins. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting focusing on a particular gem from 1970 at the Roosevelt dime with the Denver Mint mark. Stay tuned as we uncover its intriguing history and explore its current value, which might just surprise you. The 1970 D Mint mark Roosevelt dime holds a special place in the hearts of coin enthusiasts. Minted at the Denver Mint, it's part of a series that spans decades, but this specific year has some unique characteristics that make it highly sought after. What sets the 1970 D Mint Mark Roosevelt dime apart? Well, for starters, it's quite rare. Only a limited number were produced, making it a prized possession among collectors. But rarity alone isn't the only factor contributing to its value. The condition of the coin is paramount. Finding one in mint condition can be like discovering a hidden treasure. To understand the value of this dime, let's take a brief trip back in time. In 1970, the United States was in the midst of economic changes, and the Denver Mint was bustling with activity, producing coins that would soon find their way into circulation across the nation. From the moment it was minted to its journey through countless transactions, each dime carries a story. And as time passes, some become scarcer, transforming into valuable relics of history. Now, 
Let's talk numbers. The value of the 1970 D Mint Mark Roosevelt dime can vary depending on several factors, including its condition, rarity, and demand in the market. While some may fetch a modest sum, others have been known to command prices that exceed expectations. What makes the 1970 D Mint Mark Roosevelt dime so appealing to collectors is its scarcity. With fewer specimens available, it's become a coveted item in numismatic circles. So, how can you determine if you've struck gold with your Roosevelt dime? Well, first, examine it closely. Look for any signs of wear or damage. Next, consider getting it appraised by a reputable coin dealer or certified appraiser to get an accurate assessment of its value. In conclusion, the 1970 D Mint Mark Roosevelt dime is more than just a piece of pocket change. It's a window into our nation's history and a valuable collectible for those passionate about numismatics. If you're lucky enough to own one, take good care of it, as its worth may only continue to grow with time. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins and collectibles. Until next time, happy collecting, today. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting to explore the history, value, and potential fortune behind a particular dime at the 1973 No Mint Mark Roosevelt dime. The 1973 Roosevelt dime is an intriguing piece in the realm of coin collecting. What makes it particularly interesting is the absence of a mint mark and a small letter indicating where the coin was minted. While most coins bear a D for Denver, P for Philadelphia, or S for San Francisco. The 1973 dime lacks this marking altogether. Now, you might wonder, why is the absence of a mint mark significant? Well, it's all about rarity and history. Let's rewind a bit to understand the context. In 1973, the United States Mint experienced a bit of a hiccup, due to a combination of factors including equipment failures, staffing issues, and budget constraints. Some dimes were struck without their customary mint marks. This mistake created a unique subset of coins highly sought after by collectors. Fast forward to today, and these no mint mark Roosevelt dimes have become prized possessions in the numismatic community. Their scarcity adds to their allure, making them a hot commodity among collectors. Now, let's talk about the value. While the value of any coin can fluctuate based on factors like condition, rarity, and market demand, the 1973 No Mint Mark Roosevelt dime has consistently commanded a premium. In fact, depending on its condition, a 1973 No Mint Mark Roosevelt dime can fetch anywhere from $1,000 at auction. But remember, like any investment, it's essential to do your research and consult with reputable dealers or appraisers to ensure you're getting an accurate assessment of your coin's value. So, if you happen to come across a 1973 Roosevelt dime without a mint mark, hold on to it tightly it could be your ticket to a small fortune. Thanks for joining us today on our coin collecting journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. Until next time, happy collecting. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics with a focus on the 1989p mint mark Roosevelt dime. Now, you might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin has a rich history and can be worth quite a lot of money. First, let's talk about the significance of the 1989p mint mark. The p mint mark indicates that this dime was minted at the Philadelphia mint. Now, why is this important? Well, it adds a layer of rarity to the coin. You see, during certain years, the production numbers at different mints varied, making coins from one mint scarcer than those from others. The Philadelphia Mint, established in 1792, is one of the oldest minting facilities in the United States. Over the years, it has produced countless coins, each with its own unique story. Now, let's delve into the history of the Roosevelt dime itself. Introduced in 1946, the Roosevelt dime replaced the Mercury dime to honor the late President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who passed away in 1945. Since then, it has become a staple of American currency, cherished by collectors and enthusiasts alike. Over the years, the Roosevelt dime has undergone several design changes and variations, making each coin a piece of numismatic history. But what about the value of the 1989p mint mark Roosevelt dime? 
Well, here's where it gets interesting. While most circulated Roosevelt dimes from common years may not fetch a high price, certain factors can significantly increase their value. First and foremost, the condition of the coin plays a crucial role. Coins in mint condition, with minimal wear and tear, are highly sought after by collectors. Additionally, any errors or variations in the minting process can also elevate the value of a dime. In the case of the 1989p mint mark Roosevelt dime, if you are fortunate enough to find one in pristine condition or with a rare error, it could be worth much more than its face value. Some collectors are willing to pay top dollar for these elusive coins. So, if you happen to come across a 1989p mint mark Roosevelt dime in your pocket change or coin collection, be sure to inspect it closely. Who knows? You might just be holding on to a valuable piece of numismatic history. That's all for today's video. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting. Today. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to uncover the story behind the 1991 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime. You might be surprised to learn just how much this seemingly ordinary coin could be worth. First off, what sets this dime apart from the rest? Well, it bears the P. Mint Mark, indicating it was minted in Philadelphia. Now, you might think that all Roosevelt dimes are relatively common, but let me tell you, there's more to this story. In 1991, the Philadelphia Mint struck just over 1.4 billion dimes for circulation. However, as with any coinage, there are always variations and anomalies that make certain pieces stand out from the crowd. During the minting process, errors can occur, leading to coins with unique characteristics. These errors, combined with factors such as mint condition and rarity, can significantly impact a coin's value. Now, Let's talk about value. While most 1991 P. Roosevelt dimes you'll come across are worth their face value, there are exceptions that can fetch a pretty penny. One such exception is the 1991 P. Roosevelt dime struck on a plan kit intended for another denomination. These errors, known as wrong plan kit errors, are exceedingly rare and can command thousands of dollars at auction. Another factor that can drive up the value of the 1991 P. dime is its condition. Coins that have been well preserved, with minimal wear and attractive toning, are highly sought after by collectors. Whether it's a pristine uncirculated specimen or a well-worn circulated coin, each 1991 P. Roosevelt dime has a story to tell and a value waiting to be discovered. So, the next time you come across a 1991 P. Roosevelt dime in your pocket change or buried in a drawer of coins, take a closer look. You never know. It might just be the key to unlocking a hidden treasure. And that's a wrap for today's exploration of the 1991 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating coin content. Until next time, happy collecting.